Hello my friends and subscribers to my channel, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I would like to talk about coffee again. It's part three of whole coffee conversation and today is a bit controversial one. Why not to drink coffee first thing in the morning? Interesting one. We'll move to that soon, but for now, can you please do me a huge favor? Please subscribe, like and hit that notification button so you won't miss any future videos about coffee and any other videos that I post on my channel. Let's talk about coffee. So what do you do? You wake up in the morning, you have your breakfast, maybe morning routine, and you move to the coffee. Logical, right? Sounds like you. Well, that's a logical thing to do. Why would we drink coffee in the first place? Um, I think I listed in the first part, but I think most of the people would say, hey, I need energy, I need to wake up. All of that may be true, maybe not. But what coffee does to you? It does not wake you up, it does not give you energy. If we think about this, coffee is a stimulant. Coffee would trigger production of the hormone cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone. The cortisol is the reason why we wake up. And you may say, yeah, cortisol wakes us up. It's a logical choice to top up more cortisol so we stay more awake. It is logical, but it's not true to full extent. Cortisol, I, I, I remind, is a stress hormone. So if you already have stress in your body and you add more stress on top of it, it may create undesirable effects. It may create a little bit more stress. For example, you drink your coffee and you're driving. Suddenly you be, may become more irritated about traffic around you. Or you take your coffee to a meeting and someone to your work meeting and someone not really flowing in the way of meeting was planned and and suddenly your people that you gather in a meeting irritating you you can clearly see how coffee may wake you up as you as you think but also may work against you in a way of additional stress i think our life is already quite stressful to drink coffee every time that you believe it would do something but it would undo other good things in life. So there's a time and place uh, for coffee. I will discuss it in the future parts. Please subscribe not to miss it. But I would not recommend drinking coffee before interviews, before meetings, before driving the car. Um, literally in any stressful situation, if you're distressed, it will basically inject more cortisol in your bloodstream. Um, if you also diabetic, please watch my videos on uh, sugar and diabetes and all of that. Cortisol as a result will increase um, sugar in your blood system and then it'll spike insulin. And basically, you not only will be stressed, you're also likely to gain weight as a result of that stress. Now, um, what, what other things may coffee trigger? If it doesn't trigger stress, as you believe uh, it is stress, it may result in what people call jitter. Jitter, it's basically when you're not really stressed, but you feel a little bit overwhelmed, you, you're kind of jittery and you cannot find inner peace. So if your life is already stressful, if you um, do meditation and things like that, um, it will not help you for a long time. Please watch my other parts, I think it's a part two in a video um, that I described that coffee has very powerful stimulant effect and half-life of chemical compounds in coffee, half-life half is when half of the strength of the um, elements that in a coffee works, half-life of coffee is six hours. That means you may not feel immediate effects of coffee maybe after 10-20 minutes, but the, the chemical compounds that will continue to influence your day will last approximately between 6 to 10 hours. And I definitely do not recommend drinking coffee um, less than 6 hours before going to sleep. Ideally, you would drink 10 to 12 hours before going to sleep. So here you go. Uh, coffee may help you to wake you up, but it also may go against you and spoil the whole day. 
If you would like to know about negative side effects of coffee, there's actually more positives than negatives. But if you would like to hear about any other parts of coffee story, please let me know and I'll try to create another uh, video about this. But for today, that's all about what I want to say. Please, um, I'll publish uh, part one and part two on top. Click on them if you didn't watch them yet. Otherwise, please subscribe to my channel, like it, and I'll see you next time.